Hey guys, did you ever notice that when you ever try and recreate some of your favorite foods from your favorite restaurants at home, it just doesn't work out for you? Well, I'm gonna tell you why, because you know what? Working in a commercial kitchen versus working in a home kitchen are two entirely different things. Today, I wanna show you how to perfectly pan sear scallops. They're gonna be beautifully golden brown on top and it's gonna be perfectly mid-rare in the middle and we're gonna serve it with a sage brown butter sauce. In a commercial kitchen, this is like, seriously, like one, two, three. At home, it's not so simple. I'm gonna show you how and I'm gonna show you why right now, let's go. So the key to a perfect pan seared scallop is actually purchasing the scallop to begin with. They were sold in two different ways, wet pack and dry pack. Basically dry pack is right off the boat, there's no preservatives. Wet pack, it has preservatives, it's called sodium tripolyphosphate and it's opalescent and it makes the scallops really white and crazy looking and you can tell because it's gonna be sitting in water. Stay away from that by all means. Always go for the scallops that are like ivory in color or sometimes pink and they're always dry. Those are gonna be the best things and produce the best product for you. Tip number one for searing the perfect medium rare scallop is that you have to leave, leave these at room temperature for at least 20 to 25 minutes. This is gonna ensure that the inside's not cold and you're gonna have even cooking throughout. Tip number two guys for the perfect scallop is to score it with a really sharp knife. We're gonna be cooking this in a very hot pan. And by doing this, it's gonna allow the heat to enter the scallop that much faster because this is a really fast process. So kind of create like a grid motion or motion grid pattern just like that, this way and this way. So guys, before we even get started with the scallops, we're gonna make the sauce first because we wanna have this ready because the scallops cook so fast. Basically, I have a pan over medium heat, not too hot, four ounces of cubed butter I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit and we're just gonna cook this until it starts to turn brown, <laughs> you know, which is brown butter. It's gonna get like a nutty flavor, a nutty aroma. It's gonna be awesome. And it's gonna take about three to four minutes. You see guys, after two minutes, it's starting to turn brown. Keep swirling it constantly. Don't walk away from this or it's gonna burn. Next up, let's add some finely chopped shallots. This is about a half of a shallot. We're gonna cook this for about 25 seconds. All right, guys, turn off the heat. We're gonna add some lemon juice, about a half of a lemon. And we're gonna add some fresh chopped sage. Mix that all in. Next tip for a great seared scallop is to have a cast iron pan because it really holds the heat much more than a, you know, um, a nonstick pan would. So get it really hot with some olive oil smoking just like this. Place the scallops in, scored side down. And we're gonna, we're not gonna touch these, we're just gonna let them sit for about 45 seconds, so like a minute, and really let them caramelize. All right guys, at this point, after like a minute or so, minute and a half, I'm gonna add a pat of butter to this. Get that melted in. And I'm gonna flip these over. I also reduced my heat a little bit, okay? So, perfect. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my God, beautiful, look at that. This is why we score them, because you get that cool grid look on the scallops. Yes. We're gonna cook these for another, probably like 30 seconds. I'm actually gonna take some of the butter and like baste it on top. Cool guys, let's plate it up. I have some julienne vegetables here with some lima beans. I don't want it to be too crazy, so I want it to keep it simple. Let's just get these going like that. We're gonna garnish with a little, just a you know, additional sage, some lemon zest, which goes really nice to complement the lemon in the brown butter sauce. And of course, the brown butter sauce. So let's just spoon a little of that on each one. And this is a beautiful thing. Perfect seared scallops that you can do at home. Love it. Enjoy guys. Guys, just a few things that I want you to take away after watching this episode. First and foremost, 
With the scallops that you purchased, I mentioned dry pack and I mentioned wet pack. Dry pack has no preservatives. The wet pack are loaded with them and they're just gross. Stay away from them at all costs. When you do purchase your scallops, keep them at room temperature for at least 25 minutes and score them like I showed you. This is gonna not only produce an amazing presentation, but it's gonna promote even cooking. Third, you know, in commercial kitchens, the stoves and ranges that they use are so much more powerful than the ones that you have for the most part, which is why I recommended you using a cast iron skillet because that is gonna generate the most heat and produce the coolest effect of what I was looking for today with you making your perfectly seared mid-rare scallop. I hope you guys learned something today and I will catch you guys super soon.